my god! Hey guys, what's up? Wow, that was too dramatic. Hey guys, what's up? It's me Zoya and welcome back to another video. I actually don't know if this is gonna be a video yet. Um, I was just sitting, I was on a call with um, people from my school and I realized that most of quarantine I have looked homeless. So I decided that I need a glow up and I can do that tomorrow. I haven't clicked pictures for my Instagram in the longest time ever. I think the last time I clicked were pictures were back in May and it's the middle of June right now. So I have like around 27, 28,000 followers on there and I feel like I should post pictures. Uh, when I had like 27,000 followers on YouTube, I was like, this is my job. I need to quit school and do this all the time. So <laughs> I feel like I should work hard for my Instagram too. I feel like I also kind of owe an explanation as to why I haven't um, clicked Instagram pictures. It's basically because one day I wake up, one day, just one random day that I wake up and I see freaking breakouts on my skin. I feel like I can still tell. Wow, that was too close. So yeah, I wake up with freaking breakouts on my face and I'm not even kidding. They're like 10 pimples all at the same time. And let me remind you, I haven't had any acne for two months, like random zits here and there. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm screwed. There, there it is. It comes back to haunt me. And then I was like, no, I can fix this. Good skincare. Didn't freaking work. I still had the freaking breakout. Massive, massive breakout. I'm wearing like kind of a little bit of concealer right now. That's why you cannot tell. So yeah, I'm gonna wake up at 6 a.m. I was like feeling so self-conscious about myself. I didn't want to film. I didn't want to click Instagram pictures. And also because I wanted to give my skin a break. I probably got the breakout because I was like wearing makeup every day and filming and clicking pictures every day. So I gave my skin a little break for like two weeks and not wear any makeup. And uh, that's what I did. It, did it solve the problem? Uh, no. So I have decided to carry on and just film anyway because I want to give you guys the content, the really, really, I want to say good, but my content isn't good. <laughs> the really, really uh, average content that you guys expect from me. I want to give you guys that. So yeah, I'm going to wake up tomorrow, like 6 a.m. Let's go. And I'm going to film, no. And I'm going to click Instagram pictures with you guys. Let's go. Wow, I think knocked myself in the knee. It's around 9 p.m. right now. If I get to bed at around 11 p.m., I'm going to be wake up. I'm blah. I'm gonna wait. Oh, I'm gonna be waking up at 6 a.m. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Yeah, going. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. It is around 6:30 a.m. right now. Uh, I woke up and I went outside to my balcony and uh, I don't know, the wind in the air made me think about school and how I used to wake up at this time to go to school because I haven't woken up at 6am in like 4 months or something. I don't know, just made me super nostalgic thinking about the uniform I was gonna wear. I low-key want to go to school right now. Probably would have some submission or test or something and I'd be stressed out about it. I don't know. Good times, good times. So basically right now, I'm going to go to my bathroom, get ready for... prep my skin basically and everything. Uh, I have my coffee over here because I don't want to fall asleep. Hey yeah, guys, good morning. Um, now I'm in my bathroom, uh, still kind of sleepy, so hopefully this is gonna wake me up. Uh, I love coffee. I'm gonna do a full base skincare routine in the morning. I usually always do them at night. So there's a new thing I'm trying and uh, Mama has helped me fix this up and uh, basically I'm gonna talk about their cocoa range which has a face scrub a face wash and a face mask. I just scrubbed off my face with the cocoa face scrub and right now I'm gonna do the fa cocoa face mask. 
I've actually tried this already and oh my god guys look at how this looks like ice cream oh my god this this is the best smelling thing that I've ever tried oh my god okay okay guys so I have the mask on my face this smells so 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 good it smells like freaking chocolate and everything and I don't know this is the smell I want in the morning to wake me up and uh, I don't know I feel so much more fresher and awake it smells amazing and it's absolutely amazing so the face masks are made out of coffee and cocoa which actually gives them this amazing chocolatey flavor all Mama's products are chemically free and made out of natural ingredients the brand is now officially certified from PETA and is cruelty free Mama Earth is a plastic positive brand and they recycle more plastic than they actually use which is the most amazing thing I've ever heard Mama Earth is available on Amazon, Nika and the Mama Earth website so you guys can get it on there and you can use the code ZOYA2020 on the Mama Earth website to get it 20% off so I got you guys with the code okay so now I have this really nice mask on my face I'm gonna sit with my coffee and I'm going to oh, I was freaking gonna fall I'm gonna sit with my coffee for 15-20 minutes and watch stand up I guess I've been watching it since yesterday so it's not a big deal I'll be like look at me like you <laughs> like it's so easy you would be like you're cause you you, you, you can Guys, I'm gonna do my makeup right now. I feel like I've done my makeup on camera so many times uh, that it's almost, I don't know. So I'm just gonna answer some questions about me and my school life and advice on that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys about my school life and everything. The first question is what school you go to? Uh, I don't I don't feel like comfortable answering this because uh, I actually had like a few people show up at my school which was pretty scary um, and one of my friends who's also a youtuber still goes to that school so I don't anymore but my friend still does so I don't think I should like do that to her and like talk about our school but my school was this all girls catholic school uh, pretty intense i know but i kind of like my school kind of <laughs> the second question is how was i in school like what category of student i fit into our school didn't have like a very strict criteria like there were not any jocks no popular people or whatever mm, i think i was I was chill. I was not very like, I was not the topper kid and neither was I the kid that was failing all classes. I was just a normal other kid at school. Um, I didn't get a lot of attention because of YouTube. No one actually cares. Um, they just know they do YouTube and no one cares, which is kind of nice. Next thing I'm gonna do are my brows. Let me like focus for my brows and everything. I know, don't wanna mess up them brow. I always usually do an eyeshadow, but I don't know which one I should do. Someone, people have also asked me that how I manage school and YouTube. To be honest, I was great at managing this stuff when I was um, probably like in ninth grade. I used to film on weekends, edit it during the week and then upload it and that was, that is what I was doing, it was working out great and that's what I plan on doing honestly. So if you're 100% dedicated, you have to, you can do it if you're 100% dedicated. I actually had to take a step back on swimming before I was taking YouTube seriously, I used to swim a lot competitively. I went for nationals, I represented my state in nationals, I was good at it. But then in ninth grade I took a step back from that stuff and uh, yeah, so if you want to do YouTube, you can do it as your extracurricular. 
I um, I took a step back from swimming and focused more on YouTube in my ninth grade, which I kind of regret doing. I feel like if I was dedicated enough, I could have managed both. Someone else also asked me how I get motivated to study as well as film, do both. To be honest, it's it's not something that's so hard. If you actually like care about your grades and everything, it's so easy to like not let your grades take a back seat and actually focus on them. I always focused on good grades and that's why I don't think if I ever got a bad grade it was because I focused more on YouTube. Um, it was never because of YouTube, it was only because I didn't get enough time understanding those concepts or whatever. So yeah, you can manage stuff so easy if you want to. Now, Right now I'm like really debating if I should put eyeliner or not. I haven't put eyeliner in the longest time ever. So yeah, I'm not gonna put eyeliner. Mm, not today. I wanna do my hair, so I'll probably just straighten it or something. And then we can go out, click pictures. So yeah, let me let me straighten my hair real quick. Okay oh, guys, so this is the dress I'm wearing. I don't know if I keep the buttons open like this. I think it looks a lot more cooler. I don't know about that yet. I'm still deciding on what shoes to wear. Uh, I am thinking about chunky sneakers, but I don't know. I like this dress. I did not straighten my hair because I thought it looked good natural. So we're gonna keep it like that. I don't know why. I like the natural hair today. So we're gonna keep it like that. And right now I'm gonna wear the chunky sneakers. So yeah. And then we're gonna go on a floor that's very white. So it matches with my aesthetic, white shirt, white backgrounds, I don't know. We'll do that. Okay guys, I'm at this floor right now. I'm pretty sure if anyone sees me dress like this at like 8 a.m. in the morning, they're gonna think I'm crazy. This was a good place to start. So I'm gonna start here. I don't know where to keep my camera though. Okay, so this is location one. Which is, I think, really good for pictures. So I'm just gonna start set up my camera over here. I'm gonna use my phone, sorry, my DSLR. It is phone, and we're gonna take some pictures here. So I'm setting up my camera over here so that it's just me and the sky in the background. Hey guys, so I'm back in my room after taking like not that many pictures because it was so windy. My hair was all over the place. Uh, I wish I would have like tied my hair or something. I don't know. The pictures over there are kind of okay but I don't know, I look like my body physique looks weird. Then the next location was like under the sky I would say. Here's where the pictures came out the best. Um, I think I'm gonna be like editing them in Lightroom or something because I want to make the clouds look really pretty. So yeah, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I try to upload every week, but sometimes it's a little difficult. Oh guys, I don't think I mentioned or showed you guys the other two products from the Coco range. I have the Coco Face Wash and I also have the Coco Face Scrub. Uh, these products are amazing and you guys can check these out in the Mama Earth Coco range that you can find on Amazon Mama Earth and Nika. So make sure you guys check these out. These are amazing too. Really good for your skin. Great for skin awakening. So yeah, check that out guys. That's all I want to say actually. Um, new video every Thursday hopefully. Um, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.